Hey everyone, welcome back to Oblivion. So last time, we took out a den full of vampires that almost became one ourselves in the process, and we helped form the Order of the Virtuous Blood. So now, when we actually get vampire dust, we can sell it for a ton. Now, there is a problem with doing the uh, Knights of the Nine quest next. Oh, by the way, it's the Ring of the Sunfire that we got last time, forgot to show that. You may notice our infamy, where the hell is it? There, is way above our fame. That means, as far as the game's concerned, we're a bastard, which is true, so you have to have higher fame than infamy, otherwise we cannot go around and actually go to the way shrines and even begin that damn quest. So when our fame actually overtakes our infamy, then we'll do it, but in the meantime, there is literally not jack shit we can do. And yes, you can see around this area, there are werewolves. I mentioned those before, it's part of, uh, I think it's called the... Something of the North, I can't remember the damn name of it, but basically it's like a, a pretty cool quest mod where you have to take out some werewolves, and uh, in the meantime, there is tons of them all over Northern Cyrodiil, which makes it insanely dangerous around here. What the hell are you doing, maid? Yes? Oh my god, why does she do this all of the time? Just follow me. I seriously have no idea what causes that, and it drives me freaking nuts. Anyway, so we're in Bruma, because this is where we were told to meet the Grey Foxes around here somewhere, and yes... The streets in Bruma are freaking tiny, it's really weird. The Grey Fox is waiting for you. No, oh, apparently this guy knows him. He's inside, downstairs. Don't keep him waiting. Okay, first of all, you have a face like a freaking potato, and second of all, don't tell me what to do. I'm a murdering son of a bitch, I'll kill you. Oh, by the way, in case someone's wondering why we didn't do the sort of evil method for the Order of the Virtuous Blood and actually help the vampires, because basically, I don't think of my character as being strictly evil. It's more that he only gives a shit about himself, so... You know, this is not really role-playing, but at the same time, it's kind of the way I look at it. What did the vampires do? They lied to us and tried to manipulate us, so... Am I gonna help them after that? Hell no! Screw those guys! So, that's why I help the good guy, because vampires try to manipulate us. Hey, what's up, buddy? We must talk. I see you got my message. <laughs> yeah, by the way, your helmet looks ridiculous. You're lucky I wasn't busy. Curb your tongue, Shadowfoot. I am the Grey Fox. If you ever want to become a master thief in the guild, you had better learn respect. No. Why, <laughs> why give me that option? I see you got my message. Fine. It's an honor to meet with you. I have need of your special gifts. There is an item hidden away in a remote monastery. I need you to go get it for me. The monastery is extensive and well guarded, so you should make sure to be well prepared. Should you succeed, I will pay you well for your services. Baby, I was born ready. Plus, I have the maid of death with me. Let's do this. Capital. The monastery is called the Temple of the Ancestor Moths. It is where retired blind moth priests go to wait out the rest of their days. I will mark the location on your map. Look for it in the far northeast of Cyrodiil, beyond Chaden Hall. I need you to acquire Sevilla's Stone. It is a large crystal with special properties that I need to gain advantage. Remember, do not shed innocent blood. No. However, there is no blood price for slaying the stone's guardians, human or inhuman. Hooray! When I receive word that Sevilla's stone is missing, I will be here waiting for you. I'm sorry, I can't get over this guy's helmet, it looks ridiculous. Are you the Grey Fox? I don't answer questions about myself. Particularly when they come from a shadow foot. <laughs> I don't answer questions about myself. That's bloody ridiculous. Okay, so anyway, you may remember I mentioned just a moment ago, werewolves all over Northern Cyrodiil. Now we have to go somewhere in the north, so... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be real dangerous, so what I think we're gonna do, we're gonna try approaching from the south and go directly up to where we need to go. That'll be the shortest path, and hopefully, we won't run into any along the way, although it seems entirely possible, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna start from basically directly south of- What the hell are you doing in the wall, maid? Get out of here. I'm gonna start directly south of where we need to go, over there on the right. We're gonna head straight up, and hopefully we don't run into any, because like I say, they will kick the crap out of me right now. One of them is extremely tough, and usually they come in packs, so... We are way too underpowered for that shit. So, you know the drill, if I find something along the way or something happens, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'll see you when we get there. Well, what do you know? Another Oblivion game. I believe we're only very slightly north of uh, Coral, so... Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said these things pop up all over the goddamn place. It's insane. This is why a lot of people don't start the, uh, I think they don't start appearing until you do the very first Oblivion Portal in Kavach. 
then they start appearing. So a lot of people don't even start the main quest until they're ready to actually finish the entire thing, because... Yeah, that can get a little bit annoying. Personally, I really don't care, and this way we have a bunch on our map when we actually need to go take out the things, which, like I say, I'll probably do off-screen at least most of them, because holy shit, they are really, really dull. Like, in my opinion, the worst thing about Oblivion, which is ironic since that's what they're named after. And apparently there's like no actual Daedra around here, which is really strange to me. And yes, as I mentioned, when we level up a lot more, the Daedra around the portals and indeed inside the portals will be a lot more interesting than just scamps. You know, you run into clan fears and Atronarchs and Spider Daedra and all kinds of weird shit like that. But in the meantime, nothing really interesting going on there. <laughs> hey, we finally found one of the damn unique landscapes. I believe this one's called the Hammer Mill, yeah. Which, as you might imagine, just adds an actual hammer mill. I don't think there's really anything you can do here. I don't know if there's any NPCs. I thought there was, but, you know, it's night time, so I guess they're not working here right now. Maybe there isn't. I really don't remember. A forging hammer. Wait, can we actually forge stuff here? I don't think we can. I'm sure I remember checking this out at some point, but it was a long time ago. Yeah, it doesn't look like we do anything, but yeah, it's really cool, because, again, there's nothing like this in Oblivion. Normally, like, someone's built an entire freaking hammer mill, just so there's some more scenery. That's insane to me. Like I say, I don't think there's much we can do around here, but yeah, just a really cool area to look at. And we lost the maid again. Fan freaking tastic. Oh, there you are. Come along, wench. You found Temple of the Ancestor Moths. I did? I, I don't see it. Is it up here somewhere? Uh, wait, where the hell is it? Oh, it's there. Wow, that came up a long freaking way away. Right, so we can go in there, which won't get us in trouble, but it's locked. Is this locked? Yes. Is this other building over here locked? Yes. Okay. What the hell are we- Ah, oh, apparently we're supposed to go in this one, so I guess we're supposed to pick the lock, but I get a feeling this means some shit's gonna go down here. Now, I definitely did this quest at some point, but I'm damned if I can remember anything about it, really. So, you know, we'll see. Hello, gentlemen. Are you- Are you aggressive? No. At least I don't think so. Right, so do I just talk to you? What the hell are you doing, sir? Sit down, get off the table. It's a very bad habit. Now, I kind of feel like we could probably slaughter these guys. Then again, he did say there was a blood price, so... We really probably shouldn't do that. Right, what the hell's going what on here? What can this peaceful monk do for you, stranger? The stranger! Uh, tell me about Sevilla Stone. Who is this, uh, Sevilla? A uh, former lover, perhaps? I don't know anyone by that name. Bullshit, you better start talking, otherwise I'm gonna twist your nuts Who until you sing like a canary. Yes, we have yes? to pay him money. Oh my See, god. Was that Bastard. hard? I really shouldn't be telling you this, but I know you are trustworthy. Oh yeah, that's me. The blind monks in the catacombs guard the stone. It's said to have magical powers. Don't tell Heridi I said anything. I could be banished for telling you. You are the worst monk ever. I want you to know that. Where are the catacombs? Very good. Please follow me. Please be discreet and don't bother the other monks. <laughs> This is why I love Oblivion. The guy, like, literally in a booming suits. voice is like, Very good, please follow me! Literally a foot across the table from the other monks, and he's like, By the way, buddy, don't let the other monks know what we're doing. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I, I love this game. It's amazing. Just little things like that. Just little tiny really stupid things in the potato face characters. It all adds to it for me. It makes the game so damn funny. Don't get me wrong. Without that stuff, it's still a great game, but it's even better for the unintentional humor, like, holy shit. <laughs> you have no idea how much I love that stuff. And apparently there is nothing around here to steal. Color me disappointed. Damn, this mug's quick. Again, that's one of the complaints I have about Skyrim. The NPCs are so damn slow, and this, I like a freaking bat out of hell, at least most of the time. And I'm a fan of that. Wait, what? I hope you have found your stay here pleasant. Okay. What can this peaceful... Are you, are you done here? I guess so. Well, May get out of my side then. Soft silks. How do you know I wear silk lingerie in bed? Have you been spying on me in my sleep? You pervert. You dirty, dirty perverts. Okay, so what the hell's going on down here? Apparently, yeah. Looks like we're probably going to run into some aggressive stuff down here. Now, I assume we're allowed to kill these ones, but you never freaking know. I think they're going to be monks. In fact, yes, I see some right there. 
Yeah, so these guys are blind, so we should be able to sneak past Hello? them, but I think they have really Who's good that? hearing, so... You know, we'll try, but... Ah, shit. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, is it? Okay, so we have to murder them. Now, I might be able to let my maid kill them, maybe I won't get a bounty or, you know, the blood price or whatever for that, but, uh... Oh, well, you were squidgy. So, I'm oh, sure yeah. we can maybe let her kill them, but... It looks like we're allowed to, so... Screw it, I guess we'll just go murdering, because, you know, it's more fun that way. Plus, to be fair, I tried to sneak around them, and, and now he's naked. Give me that, yoink. Plus, I did try to sneak around them, and they attacked me first, so screw them, basically. I'm pretty sure we're allowed. In fact, no, I was gonna say. I thought if we get attacked first, we wouldn't get a blood price, but that was not the case with the uh, guard in the ancestral tomb when we had to steal the the bust of Lotharsis, or whatever it was called, so... Yeah, I'm hoping this time we don't get a blood price, because if we get a thousand for each damn one, that's freaking insane. Like, surely that's not gonna happen. I don't think we've been kicked out, though, because nothing popped up, so... Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> Suffice to say, though, if that does happen, I'm gonna be very, very pissed off. Now, you are probably about to witness one of my least favorite aspects of Oblivion, and that's dungeon crawling, which, to be fair, I don't really like in Skyrim that much either, but, uh... It's admittedly worse than Oblivion, because usually the... Du not all of the time! Not all of the time, but usually the dungeons... They're just not as interesting, so... Yeah, I may cut out chunks of this, it really depends how much goes on and how much just walking around like this doing jack shit happens, cause... Yeah, there's kind of a lot of that, but you know, we'll see. Matt, I see you there, Mr. Monk. Okay, this guy's probably gonna wake up, but screw it, again, we'll try and sneak around him, but uh... In fact, it might just be a better idea just to murder him in his sleep, what do we get? Apparently not very much, but screw it, I'll take it. And those damn alembics seem to be freaking everywhere. What's up, buddy? God diggity damn it. Well, prepare to die, you blind son of a bitch. Come here. Die. I, Jesus Christ. Okay, don't shoot me, mate. I know what you like. Okay, he's down. This is what I'm saying. I think I've been walking around for like five minutes, not found a literal... Well, I found a rat. That was what you missed. One rat. No chests, no monks, no nothing. This is what I'm saying. When you actually find something in the dungeons of Obli in Oblivion, it's not that bad, but for the most part, it's a whole lot of walking around and you just don't really find much of anything. Is that- is that a guy there? Oh, it's a sack on a shot. I really thought that was just like some giant dude. I mean, there's j there's nothing in here. It's all junk. It's so much junk. Hey, we got a potion. Novel. Okay, once again, I guess I'll cut you in when I find something or figure out where I'm going, because uh, it's kind of like a labyrinth in here, because I am very... Very lost right now. Hey, I finally found where to go about damn time, the Caverns of the Moth. See, this is kind of the thing about this quest. It's cool and everything, because the Moth Priests, they're blind monks that beat the crap out of you when you try and steal a stone from them. That's a cool quest, but like I say, just the Caverns here. Some of them in quests are really cool, but this is one of the ones that's just really kind of lackluster. It's just, you know... Big long corridors of jack shit going on, as you can see right now. And it just keeps going, hey, I see you there, trip rope. <laughs> it's like the most lackluster trap, like, hey, I know what'll get him. If we set up two ball and chains with a trip rope six feet away from it, that'll kill everyone. And yes, I know I just tripped another one, and frankly, I don't think we're in much danger. Hey, we're in. What's in the box? Nine gold, really? <laughs> Holy shit, that was not worth the 10 time. Anyway, so yeah, don't get me wrong. A lot of the dungeons that you go to for quests in Oblivion are really cool, but uh, this so far anyway is definitely not one of them. Oh my god, we found something. It's like a room full of gas. See, now that's kind of interesting. We need more of that shit. I see a pool chain there as well, and Whoa. I see another pool chain. Right, this may be a... This might have been a very bad... I might just kill myself. Oh. Well, shit, we can at least get rich in the meantime, even though there's probably nothing in here. <laughs> nope, eight gold and a pestle and mortar. We may have died for that. Whoa. Right, I guess this is some kind of puzzle with the, uh, the pool chains or something? I, I don't know, but me and my mate are dying. Oh, there's another one here. Does that open it? No. Can I just leave? Yes, okay, let's do that. So I guess we're not going back that way. Well, shit. That may be a very bad idea, but, you know, we'll see. H hello, monsters? Hey, okay, so I see a trap over there, and I see a hidden wall there as well, but I don't know how to open that. And I see the trap rope as well. Now, here's the problem. I do not have the same DS. I do not have the same mods that I have in Skyrim, which stops my uh, followers from tripping stuff like that, so... She just knocked herself out and half killed me, so... Thanks, wench. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> God damn it. 
Okay, where the hell are we going? If we can find some monsters, we'll be really handy because we need combat experience. And there's just like nothing in here. There's traps and crap booty. Like, give me some to kill for Christ's sakes. My maid is killing herself out of boredom. Hey, there's something. And I'm probably not going to hit you with this arrow. No, we do have silver arrows. I think I assume they work. Or maybe, don't shoot me. Maybe you just need a silver bow. But uh, either way, let's go with a claimer of justice. Just to kill this guy, because good lord, do I have some bloodlust in these satiated. Not that I'm going to get any blood out of this guy, but, you know, metaphorically speaking. Oh my god. You just stole my kill. Oh no, he's still alive. Kill him. Yes. I'm going to claim that kill for myself. Screw you, wench. It's mine. Right. I, I am lost again. Okay. Now, oh. I think, yes, the way this works is, unlike Skyrim, where if you dropped on it, you take damage in this, you just take damage from walking through them, so... We have to jump around all over the goddamn place, because again, you do have a jumping skill which is called acrobatics, so if you level up a lot, you can literally jump from one end of the room to the other and pass the whole thing, which is really cool. And you just can't get stuck there. She teleported. Where'd she go? Oh my god, please don't be in the war. Thank you. Holy shit. Right, where the hell are we going? Because I am not following the uh, map marker. I am very, very lost right now. Hey, we got some booty. We got a potion. This place has, like, the worst loot ever. Hey, what's up, skeleton buddy? <laughs> hey, you stole my kill. God damn it. Well, I guess we're even now. Next time, it's mine. Wait. Wait. This is where we were. Yeah. How the hell have we come around a circle? Okay, so I guess I'm lost again. So once again, I'll cut you in when I figure out where we're going, because I have no idea. Okay, I think I finally found a door. Yes, and we don't have to pick it. Well, thank Chris for that. Okay, hopefully this is where the goddamn stone is, because, like, damn. I've been wandering around this place for a long, long time. It's very confusing, because everywhere looks the same, so I don't know where the hell I'm going. Okay, there's a giant room here. And I see a priest over there. That looks like a... I, I think I see the stone. Yes. About damn time. Okay, I'm guessing we're gonna kill this guy, but I don't want to shoot him just in case he's gonna say something. I don't think he will, but, uh, you never know. Where are what, what's up? Hey, he's aggressive, and there's a stone behind him. Okay, so that thing's gonna shoot at us the entire time, so we have to dodge like a champion. Or, you know, get parried and then beat the shit out of You kill-stealing bitch. God damn it. Damn, she just beat the shit out of him. And typically, my spell went right. God, I hate you sometimes. My spell went right underneath the guy. Well, either way, he's dead. We got our stone. Let's get the balls out of here. Can I kill this thing? Can I turn it off by shooting a spell at it or something? I don't think you can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just can't do anything about those, so... Yeah, they are really, really freaking annoying. Now, here's the question. Is there a quick way out of here? Because, uh... I don't want to walk all the way back out because I got lost a million times. Okay, it looks like maybe there's an exit to the left. Yeah, we just have to go back to, uh, the Grey Fox. Right, ah, okay, is this our way out? Yes, I see a ladder. Oh, thank you. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Are there any good books around here or anything we can loot? What's in here? Uh, hey, we got a dagger tome and... In what? Instructions on the Grey Cow? Interesting. Yeah, because by the way, in case you don't know, the Grey Cow is what the Grey Fox is wearing. That's why he's got his nickname and apparently he stole it from Nocturnal, so it's got some kind of magical powers. That's all I really know. If you want to pause the video and read that, be my guest. I don't. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'll see you back in Bruma. What up, silly hat? I'm back. Did you miss me? I hear the monks were most... hospitable. No, you heard wrong they were dicks. I got a stone. My sources tell me that Sevilla's stone has gone missing. Do you have it with you? Yes, you idiot. That's what I was doing. Capital! Now I can see past the palace defenses. Oh, it's a good thing the Emperor didn't know they had this stone. He would have had it destroyed or taken it from them and kept it under lock and key in the palace. When I have learned what I need to know, I will call for you again. Let us leave Helvius' house now. He has served me well and deserves his peace. Okay. In the meantime, tell me about Nocturnal's cow. You think this is Nocturnal's cow? Where did you hear about that? <laughs> Duh, just a loggy guess. From a note in the monastery. I see. I suppose there is no hiding it from you. No hiding. What a joke. My whole life is hiding. Everything in that document is true. My identity cannot be known. In fact, I just told you my true name twice. 
but I bet you don't remember it. Was it Dave? You and I have even met before, when I was not wearing the cow. To your clouded memory, he and I are two different people. My god. My own family doesn't even know me. I would give much to be rid of the gray cow and its curse. Yeah, plus it looks really silly. Catch you later, Dave. Thanks for the information. Okay, so we're gonna wait for a message from Dave again, so I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it. Like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.